Seriously, I didn't mean to forget about the cougar, but apparently I did. And so here we are creating the cougar habitat in Purina Hill, our actually already ended uh, franchise mode play. But it's not ended, apparently, because it's not done, as uh, I figured out. So you guys did comment a couple of weeks ago uh, under the videos, like, yeah, but what about the cougar and what about the cougar? And, and I just really don't know why I ignored these comments. Uh, or why I wanted to ignore, I don't know, I just completely forgot about it. So um, yeah, here we are creating the cougar habitat for our all cat zoo. In case you guys clicked on this video and have never been here, first of all, what, what are you doing? Why are you here? Hello. And uh, second of all, now um, this park has been set out to be a challenge for me because we only did the cats from the game. And as you know, all of the cats in the game are carnivores and um, all this meat to be purchased and stuff is not really the healthiest thing for your finances in uh, the franchise mode. So it was an extra hard challenge. And to make it even more hard, we set out to make this in hard mode, um, which apparently made me realize a couple of times that that was a freaking bad idea. Um, but at the end of the day, we managed to survive all of the shenanigans with the finances, um, mainly through, uh, you know, sales of our uh, babies and stuff. Now, and this is still the only reason why the zoo exists. Um, it's actually quite healthy in terms of finances now um, because we have so many juvenil uh, juveniles and uh, so much offspring that we can uh, sell all the animals uh, on a, uh, in a good routine and so always have the money. But on the other hand, I still want to make this thing uh, very much uh, uh, a profitable zoo on its own, uh, which again, we are going to do in a live stream, which will apparently happen once we moved houses, which is... Uh, not before mid of March and uh, at the moment it doesn't even look like we have internet so uh, let's see about that uh, it's the it's the biggest issue we still have so um, yeah uh, we we need to we need to find a solution for the internet but uh, yeah as it always is in Germany uh, you will find one one you're not happy with but, but apparently a, a solution I guess at the end of the day now let's talk quickly about the habitat itself um, I made my life a little bit more easy this time around, but I don't think this just made the quality uh, worse. I think it actually is one of the better habitats in this uh, project. Uh, that said, I like the others too, but um, this one is a very natural one, making sure that this uh, sunken in area here in, fr in the front is very nice for the guests to be to be seen and, you know, to spend the time in. It's not the most realistic one, like I put some barriers in that technically in real life wouldn't work because the animals could just easily jump over. But, you know, uh, realism was never a target for this project. Uh, we have a couple of things that wouldn't work this way in actual zoo, but it does work in the game and so I'm happy with it. Uh, putting down a lot of rocks, making sure that they can't escape and making sure that everything else is, um, you know, made in a way that it doesn't... Uh, allow them to escape the habitat but then on the other hand um, I wanted to create this um, you know uh, very nice looking area and it's uh, pretty neat that uh, we have this kind of false perspective by looking down into the valley and then um, this little hill which appears bigger than it actually is because the, the valley is lower and then the hill doesn't need to be as high to appear pretty high and that way we could hide their actual uh, you know facility in the background which is ugly and you don't want to be seen by the guest um, so that's a kind of smart trick that uh, theme parks and zoos do all the time you know playing with uh, inclines and declines to hide certain things uh, you don't even need to hide them like fully it's enough if you play with the perspective so that guest can't see it and if there's still a spot where people can see it you just put some foliage in just as I'm doing over here uh, playing with the um, you know uh, with the foliage and stuff and putting in the enrichment. So it's a rather simple one, but I think uh, it shows how much beauty can be in these simple habitats as well, which you will especially see in the real-time part because that's not going to be uh, such a long episode. It's going to be like a very straightforward episode, couple of minutes. We are already at the end of the time lapse in a couple seconds uh, when we will move over into the actual zoo. As you can see, I was fixing some issues here and there. Nothing major, nothing big, but uh, just making sure that everything runs, uh, getting a little bit of a cleanup up here and there putting down you know donation boxes but you'll see that in in real time part in a couple seconds anyway so yeah let's hand you over to the real time rudo rudo rudy here you go all right rudo here <laughs> we are in the real time part and let me just go forward a little bit oh my god this is a very weird place uh, education sign but you can see people are already enjoying the new view 
onto our oh my god have you seen that oh that was beautiful the cougar just chilling on top of that thing lying down there why are you going you could have just stayed there for a second that would have been super cinematic effect here uh, but yeah so this is the uh, cougar habitat as you can see using some of the new grass pieces we got in the last update uh, really cool stuff i love this grass by the way it's very versatile brings in a very cool shade different color and as you can tell this is what i said this hill over here looks like a lot bigger than it actually is and it does really hide away the facility in the background you can really not tell it and with using the concrete in the back here being very gray you don't notice at the first glance you, you just notice this by the fact it's so straight and it's like a clean cut but in uh, in terms of colors and stuff, it, it really nicely merges with the with the rock color and stuff. So it just kind of really feels like as is if as if this is the only habitat they have. But they can go in the back, and it almost feels like they go into the mountains. But you know, there's just like a couple of little things behind. Was there like a tour in the background? People were talking about. I think there was like an educator giving a little speech. But yeah, that's that. We are just going to jump out of this cam uh, to show you the overview. Um, so this is the overview, as you can see, um, and the little trick, as I just said, is this is the facility in the background where they can sleep and stuff, and then you've got that little area. But from, from the front, it really looks like as if this is like a big area to delve in, you know, uh, and as if they can really go into the mountains and have some fancy things in the back, but they haven't. So, yeah, that's that. And um, this is Purina Hill uh, now with actually all cats in and as you have seen i have judged all the cats uh, according to my personal opinion which is the best one and which is the worst one uh, spoiler the lion is potentially not my uh, favorite animal in the game <laughs> um but yeah if you want to see how my uh, voting or my ranking went the linky to the video is to the top right you can just watch that video and in case you are a fan of purina hill or franchise in general i highly recommend jumping into my new franchise in which we're going to make arctic animals not quite sure how long we will go in there so make sure to go there as long as it lasts and then uh, I, I see you in the next one I guess have a wonderful day everyone uh, enjoy your time uh, make sure that you uh, enjoy the weekend to the fullest because the next week is just ahead and yeah as I said just click to the top right to your video if you want to um, watch the next one my ranking in particular and uh, I hope you guys are happy that we finally have the cougar in there's really not much more to say uh, I guess just have a good time and I'll talk to you in the next one